I just want to make a quick safety video if you're in the lawn and landscaping business and you're new and maybe you're pulling a truck, uh, uh, pulling a trailer behind a truck, a couple safety things to look out for, like a morning checklist every single morning before you head off to the job site. Very important. Uh, and I'll keep this actually simple. One is make sure that the truck is rated for the trailer that you're pulling, which means you're not going to pull a 16 foot dump trailer loaded with concrete with a 1992 Dodge Dakota. Make sure the truck is matched to the trailer. Uh, this is a F-150, which means I'm also not going to be pulling a 16 foot dump trailer loaded with concrete. Um, this is a the heavy duty hitch with a, a, a truck mount. It has a two and five ticks two and five sixteenth inch ball. So the cup is bigger than your standard two inch over here, which is, is a, this is a, a light duty th one thirty five hundred pound axle box trailer. It's a 14 foot since it only has one axle, not a ton of weight, your basic two inch ball. And then the, the housing right here, this hitch, it fits perfect. See? right up in there and I'm gonna show you over there what I'm talking about in a second we put the camera see up inside of there see that this closes over and around the bottom half of the ball to secure it it locks it in place and then when you close this this seems obvious but hang with me it closes it and grips it close it and grips onto it see how it's moving and then we put a, a clasp a clasp pin or a hitch pin some type of locking pin through here so that thing does not move and then you want to take your chains and cross them and hook them up underneath here we cross the chains and we spin them so they're not dragging on the ground playing musical bells <laughs> and then we hook it up and make sure see these little clasps right here with these little cotter pins make sure in the morning that none of that stuff is broken or falling off or rusted or to the point where it's falling off right but then also here on the hitch assembly and, and housing has gone in. Make sure that that pin and clip is in place as well. That it's going all the way through and clipped. And make sure that this clip pin is clipped all the way on. That sounds funny. But if it's not all the way on, it could just pop off while you're driving. So make sure when you push it, it goes pop and clips into place so it's not moving no matter what. And then back to this. Here's the class pin that I was talking about. Make sure, here's the most important thing. When you, when you jack down the trailer, well, first of all, make sure that you wind the jack all the way up as high as it will possibly go. Don't let it hang two, three, four, five, six inches away from the concrete and think it's okay. Because if you hit a pothole and you sink in six inches and that thing hits, it's gonna hit that so damn hard that it could either cause an accident and break something or it could literally break it right off the back of the trailer. So the next thing is make sure it's jacked all the way up because I've seen them before where they get hit and it's broken and bent all the way back. All right, this here, make sure it's clipped all the way in. But when you crank it down, make sure it's cupped over and around the ball. Everyone's made this mistake. I've made this mistake where you jack it all the way down and it looks like it's secured and it's gripping around it, but it's actually not. And it looks like it. So you have to train your eyes to see to make sure it's actually gripping around the ball. Otherwise, it's just sitting on top of it. Once it is, and then you can close it in place like this. See? Back. It slides forward. If this gets a... Uh, Sticky, you can spray a little bit of WD 40 in there or PB blast, and then make sure you always, always, always put a clip through it and make sure that your clip is in good shape. And if it starts to fall apart, get rid of it and get a new one. You always want a clip on there, <coughs> and you want the clip uh, preferably connected to the trailer. So we cross the chains, hook them up, and now we have the break it breakaway system here. I have to get this fixed immediately. I'm embarrassed right now, so I'm glad I'm making this video, right? Because the uh, the screw broke off, and now I have this zip tied to here. So, crush me in the comments. I enjoy it. This breakaway system goes all the way to the back of the truck, and I loop it around and I hook it up. So there's enough tension that is more than the chains. So if it, if by chance this broke off or it it wasn't connected properly, 
then there would be enough tension to pull this pin out. As soon as this pin pulls, the electronic braking system signals the brakes to lock up immediate, immediately. It's an emergency braking system, correct? Uh, the next thing is walk around the truck, walk around the trailer, and make sure nothing's falling off, everything is secure, make sure there's not any flat tires, there's proper air in the tires or anything that could cause damage or harm because the responsibility is so high that not only could you hurt or damage yourself or your own property, but you could do that to somebody else, which is unfair. That does, It only takes an extra 30 seconds in the morning to walk around and make sure that everything is secure and safe. And also make sure you look at the top of the trailer like this right here, we got an orchard ladder up here that's just being stored up there. But I made a mistake <laughs> last year. We, we put the orchard ladder on top of the trailer and I had so much going on, I just left it up there and I drove to the next job site. And after a mile and a half, I was doing 45. It hit me like a ton of bricks that it wasn't secured to the top of the trailer. It was just sitting out there hanging out like an airplane wing waiting to fall off in traffic. I pulled over, dude, my heart was just racing and I was like oh thank god so that that I was so scared I was like I'll never do that I can't even believe that that happened it's never happened before but it can still happen uh, this is secured I like how these pins are really really strong here there's two of them but that's just what I want to say do a quick 30 second walk around all the time and make sure of these things every single day every single morning you're also going to do a light check a 708 plug harness wire pin uh, you got brakes turn signals emergency flashers uh, electronic brakes <clears throat> everything in here make sure that's in place and that it's in the proper position because there's a little tiny cut like a, a, a tooth etched out what I don't know the word like a gear it, it goes you know what I'm talking about it goes in place I'll show you see that little notch at the bottom there's a notch here too. Match up the notch. I've seen it. I've seen that mistake be made, and I was like, "What? How, how can you even make that mistake?" But it happens. Make sure it's in there, and all the connections are clean. And you're supposed to do a every single morning before you leave. You and a guy, or you by yourself, you're supposed to do the brakes. You're supposed to go brakes left, right, check. Good, good, good. Go. Because you pull off no brakes, you can cause a problem you know what I'm talking about end up with get a ticket and that's not good so these simple things everything single morning if you're driving a rig that's bigger it requires DOT stickers Department of Transportation and you have to have special licensing and insurance for it if you're driving like a 650 dump truck dually it requires a, a class C uh, well CDL which is a commercial driver's license you got a commercial driver's license you got uh, you got a, a class C, class A, which is semi. You have electronic brakes, you have air brakes, you have single axles, double axles, you have school bus, limousine, passenger. There's all these different endorsements that you can get. You have to have, to have different levels of training and qualifications, and basically you go to the Secretary of State and get the uh, license for it. I have a CDL, which is a commercial driver's license, so I can drive like, I don't know, single axle, I'm sorry, dual axle, dually dump trucks miniature semis, school buses, limousines, pa carry passengers, uh, air braking certification, a bunch of certifications. I, what is it, what I did like a hundred, a hundred and, was it a 26 point inspection? It's been a while, I forgot, right? I'm rusty, I don't know. Um, I could talk about how you gotta have and a fire extinguisher and an up-to-date medical kit and all this stuff I'm not even gonna get into that I'm just talking about the trailer I'm not here to advise you or anything but I'm just wanted to talk about general safety because if something happens and you're trying to live your dream and be your own boss and run your own lawn and landscaping business and one stupid thing that you miss like a, a missing cotter pin and so, it's so, <laughs> just be safe and it takes 30 seconds every morning all right, I hope that serves you and have a great, oh yeah, yeah, that was the last thing. Make sure you look up at the top and that there's no tools that could fall off. All right, we got these equipment defender racks up in here. Uh, I park my stuff at my residence for now because I was parking in another place and all my stuff got robbed in a place that I was paying. That was, 
Ah, <sighs> so anyways, and then I had it at a storage unit place, and then I and, uh, and then I ran, I ran in another place, and now I'll just put it in my residence for now, unless it decide to grow, and then I'll go, we, we might actually move and get some property, and then I'll have a pole barn and all that, and that'll be pretty cool. But anyways, um, equipment defender racks, make sure all the tools are secured in place. You see the ladders back there? Those are pretty secure back there, but I've actually seen a mulch metal scoop be all the way back down tucked in you didn't think that thing was going to fall off or nothing went and did 40 miles per hour on a main road luckily my guy was right behind me the thing somehow the wind caught it it flipped over at just the right angle so it bounced flipped again and then flipped again and flipped out of the dump trailer into tr not into traffic but onto the road where my guy pulled over real quick and picked it up and i was like my mind was blown i literally couldn't even believe that it happened so <laughs> Make sure everything's tucked and secured and safe.